You're probably wondering why, dude, no matter how much product I put in my hair, it just keeps getting floppy. You got any scissors? I wasn't wondering that, but now I kind of am, bro. Thank you, bro. I have a bowl for each of us. Fetch me my bowl. Yeah. Hello. So today we're actually filming this post motion. It was quite a busy 24, 48 hours, but I'm joined by my friends, Aaron Zhang and Aaron Trailer. Uh, both named Aaron, I'm not named Aaron, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, and we sat down, so I came to visit Aaron this weekend. Aaron also joined. Aaron Trailer here got really into making ice cream during the pandemic, and it was really cool to see, and it actually inspired me to start making my own ice cream. I bought like an ice cream maker online, I've been doing it. Uh, but so now that we're together again in person, we thought it'd be really fun to make some together. Uh, and of course, if we were going to do it, we decided that we weren't going to do anything. Uh, you know, we weren't going to do the kid stuff. We were going to get really serious. So we, we somehow made six ice creams in the course of about a little bit over 24 hours. Um, and it was very hectic, which is what you're about to watch. Uh, for the flavors, we chose six bread related flavors. Those are coffee cake, French toast, burnt toast, banana bread, dark chocolate, sea salt, uh, shortbread. shortbread cookie, shortbread crumbs, and then a cookies and cream. Um, and yeah, so uh, the actual video itself is pretty hectic. Uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it. I know the editor will spend a lot of time working on it. No. Yeah, is there anything you guys want to add before we kind of jump into it? Follow me on SoundCloud. Follow me on SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, enjoy the video. We worked hard on it. Look at that cool. lighting. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what we're going to be doing now is that the process for making ice cream is pretty much two steps. You have a base, uh, which is what we're about to be making. Basically, the way that it works is that a lot of the ice creams that you have all come from the same base, or each, I should say, each brand that you use, each store that you go to will mostly use more or less the same ice cream base. Um, uh, the ice cream base is like the texture, the consistency, the, the ice cream part of the ice cream, minus the flavor, minus the toppings, anything else that you've added, and any mix-ins. And so what we're going to be doing here is for these six ice creams, we're going to be using two bases. The plan right now is that we're going to make those two bases so that we can let them sit overnight and we can add in the actual flavors tomorrow. This is where I would say the bulk of the work comes in. Once these butters soften up... The um, butters? What is that? I'm zooming in on the butters. Oh yeah, please show the butters. Once the butters oh, yes. uh, finish softening, we can also make the coffee cake and the banana bread, which we'll be using as mix-ins as well. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to make some of these bases. You need to soften butter. Oh yeah, get that out. It's kind of hurt to see. You need to soften the butter <laughs> before you, you before you cream it with the sugar. Right. And, and so I mean, soft enough. if you put it in the microwave, it'll just melt. So you right. have to soften it. So we should use your natural butter. Right. We're you, we're taking advantage of my high natural uh, body temperature here. Uh, I just want to my hands free. Not that I can really want to do anything with them, but yeah. yeah. Can you give me a drink, bro? Yeah, sure, bro. <laughs> well, so we're just making the base now. Um, basically because we're quadrupling it. Oh, October 30th, uh, That's not milk, is it? Uh, that doesn't look like milk. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is what we're going to be using for our ice cream. Uh, okay, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. <laughs> Professor Wolfie. Yeah, we're taking no. Oh, this is not bad. This looks a little bad. <laughs> okay, so for this, you might be thinking what goes into an ice cream base, right? Well, what does go into an ice cream base? That's what I was wondering. So you know, it's pretty simple. It's uh, It depends, of course, on the base you're using. Some of them use eggs, some of them use... Um, they all have different, what's it called? Stabilizing, smoothing agent. This one we're using is xanthan gum. So this is just sugar, dry milk powder, xanthan gum, um, corn syrup, whole milk, and heavy cream. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix all this stuff together and then I think with this one we have, to, you know, we have to boil it a little bit. So yeah, we're just making that now, which is why we're using uh, five and a third cups of milk, which is about uh, 3,000 liters if you're European. Yep. But we, you should start that yet because we, we're gonna have to do the sugar mixture yet. We haven't made it yet, but this this is gonna take a while to heat up. Okay, so cool. it'll be pretty easy to make cool. the sugar mixture. That is fine. Use this bowl. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh uh, well, that's the, uh, we're we're quadrupling the recipe, so. right? Yeah, we're gonna need like a bigger bowl. Uh, uh, you get it? Well, I mean, it's, yeah, just yeah. I mean, yeah, watch watch minutes first. Yeah, we're pretty professional. Can you try this at home, guys? I mean, we've been doing this for a while. We're like pretty much professionals at this point. Yeah. Uh, don't if you're eating this ice cream, stop. Wait, stop. Oh, it's too late. Okay, don't watch if you're gonna eat. I've washed my hand. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, you think people aren't gonna touch your food? Never <laughs> <laughs> been to a restaurant. <laughs> so this is heat enough. We need to mix it with the dry ingredients, which yes. is the xanthan gum, sugar, uh, and dry milk. So you need a teaspoon of xanthan gum, two cups of sugar, and then eight tablespoons of dry milk powder. I'm pretty sure that's like a quarter cup or something. Yeah, xanthan gum sounds kind of scary because, like, I don't know, it has an X in it. Uh, yeah, I feel like, <laughs> well, I feel like, you know, we're pretty afraid of, like, chemicals in general, but it's like, yeah, it's not anything to be afraid of. You're doing so good at that one. Thank you. I can just tell. This is a masterpiece. Look at, look at the, oh. Oh, wow. That's a xanthan gum. Wow. Wow. I'm sure, like, watching this video, like, the amount of space on my cupboard is going to give a lot of people
I think we're gonna get some unfortunate, some, some mean comments about our workspace. Molding. 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 But then we won't get any mean comments about the result, which is what I care about. Well, I don't know. Ice cream fans can be pretty brutal. Really? <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, please be nice. <laughs> we're, we're in the novice category of ice cream makers. That's like favorite professionals at this point. I... Give us the rundown. So, what's the deal? I have the... the uh... <laughs> The other, the other custards, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so the other ice creams are made with an egg less base, which means that we don't really have to care about the temperature control. But this, these two ice creams we're making with a custard base because we want it to be like eggy. So we actually do really have to pay attention to the temperature because if we overcook the eggs, then it will like be closer to scrambled eggs than like unfrozen <laughs> ice cream, which is really bad. <laughs> um, so I'm just wondering if I have like a pan big enough to like, so what you do is like you take it right off the stove and then you like dump it right into an ice bath, like a bowl in an ice bath. You don't like, pour all your ice cream <laughs> into, into ice bath. Um, but uh, just like that, the that you know you spend as little time like messing with the eggs as possible. But I think I know how to make it work. <clears throat> okay, so here's the update. So this is yellow. Um, we're pretty much done with this base. So Aaron's gonna put this through a strainer into a bowl and then that'll just go in the fridge, right? Yeah, so why are we straining it? It's because, uh, well, I, sorry, I shouldn't ask for trouble for questions. We're I wanna know. We're it because, <laughs> um, like, sometimes the eggs sort of, like, get, like, scrambly, like, they sort of, like, form chunks, because we're literally cooking them. Um, but we don't actually want scrambled egg chunks in our ice cream. <laughs> so, uh, so we're gonna just, uh, so we're gonna strain it, so there's we're no chunk. <laughs> so you might be thinking, oh yeah, these gamers are done for the night, right? They got their ice cream. Uh, the gamers are not done, Aaron. Gamers are not done at all. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so while the base is done here, we are gonna be making two mix-ins, which I'm gonna be doing now, which is the coffee cake and the banana bread. And Aaron might do the shortbread cookies as well, potentially. What I'm doing right now is I'm getting ready to make the chocolate shortbread mm -hmm. one. It's not gonna be, you know, it's just out of the cookbook. It's just out of the song start. I took the closely, but we're gonna add some shortbread but first. Um, I'm gonna have to put the chocolate in the batch. And this is all of our base, and if you don't want it all to be chocolate. Um, so first I have to, and I just pour some. So last night. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, that? look at the creaminess. Look at the, like this crust. I think actually just mostly gets disintegrated. Okay. Yeah, so last night we uh, we made quadruple of the salt and straw base. Salt and straw is an ice cream shop company. They're, I, they're an ice cream chain on the West Coast. On the they West Coast. in Portland. Yeah. They have a bunch of weird flavors and a really nice cookbook. They're like, I think they're my favorite place. Mm -hmm. um, Sponsor us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, their, their video, like their, their creator guy, his video, his name's Tyler. Uh, that's what inspired me to get the ice cream. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. That's super cool. Um, but yeah, so last night we basically, their base is nice because we can just like make multiple of it. Even though we're making six ice creams, we only made two different bases and we doubled one and quadrupled the other. So what Aaron is doing now is he's going to measure out because we can't, we didn't quadruple the base to make one four times, you know, thing of ice cream. We wanted to make four regular things of ice cream. So what Aaron's doing now is he's measuring out some of that um, ice cream base so that we know how much to use for each individual ice cream. All right, so we're gonna strain. We actually don't want these burnt toast bits in the actual ice cream. We just wanna have the flavor. So it's it soggy. Yeah, so we don't want that. So we're gonna strain it out here. Oh, look at this. Wow. All that gloop, all that yummy, yummy it's toast. Delicious gloop. Glorp, glorp, glorp. Yeah, it's actually a rule of ice cream making that you have to make all the sound effects with your mouth. Yeah, it's kind of just the, it's in the instruction manual. That's a lot of gloop in there, dude. Oh my god, look at the ice cream like consistency. Like it's got like little burnt flecks in it. Yeah, that's actually really cool. You can see, I'll get closer. You can see there's like little flecks in the ice cream, which I think is actually really neat. Yeah, do you want, I mean. No, I want to wait till the actual product. I want to try some. Go for it, dog. Thoughts? It's gonna be a really good ice cream. <laughs> awesome, cool. So I'm gonna put this in here. So I'm gonna hit it. Um, I don't need, this has a pre-cooling thing, so like it, it can get cold before you put it uh, in the ice cream. But if you need this, this is the dasher. Okay. So the way this actually works, like all ice creams work, is uh -huh. like the bowl is cold, so the outside is what freezes, right? So uh, like the outside of the ice cream, and so this will scrape the frozen bits of ice cream off into the center, being liquid goes to the edges. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this is just spinning. Or in the burnt toast ice cream here. Yep, and there you go. And that's it. Now we just have to wait for how long is normally. This is is this different than mine? Mine will finish for like 20 minutes. It takes about 20, 30, 35 minutes. So yeah, we'll be back. Boom. All right, dog. I'm gonna get the shortbread. I'm gonna try some scooper. You gotta try some of the shortbread, man. It is insane. Dude, that base is so good. Wait, yeah, try it. Try a little bit of the shortbread. I'm eating, I'm eating. The 
you see my vision? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. So these are mix ins. We didn't have any for the French to or for the burnt toast ice cream, but yeah. for this one we do. Yeah, so for ice cream, you mix things in after. Oh my god, they're kind of stuck together. Oh no, bro. All right, so uh, the bread, the banana bread is like really like, there's a lot of banana bread in here. Sheesh. Oh my god. <laughs> So Aaron, Aaron has been a trooper and gotten most of the banana bread, yeah. uh, most of the liquid out of there. I think yeah, that's all we're gonna get. Meal. I'm done with this. Yeah, all right. This. So now, oh. and I'm making the, these banana bread crisps are gonna go in the toaster oven. Dude, hey, coffee ice cream. By the glorp glorp gleek people? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, it's going. Yes, sir. The Dasher is not happy, but that's okay. Really if you're happy, then I'm happy. Yeah, thanks, bro. Thank Anytime. you, time. Oh, yes. Sweet. And then it's just going to spin up, and it will hopefully be done in 40 minutes. Yeah, so for the French toast, this is uh, some browning butter, I think, under all this foam. Hopefully it's not burning butter. Just pouring it right on into this blend of uh, maple syrup, nutmeg, sugar, vanilla extract, and a little bit of salt. And uh, that is going to go right in our custard base from earlier. This is a little bit of a deviation of a recipe from the James Beard Foundation uh, website. We're not entirely sure that they know what they're doing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Shade throne. No, I don't want to throw shade at Mr. Mr. Beard and all his friends. Um, but just like, their, their recipe is a little bit different. And this is like a custard, just like their custard that they recommended. So we're sort of flying by the seat of our pants here. Um, but they wanted us to mix the uh, maple syrup with the heavy cream and then cook it. We've already cooked our heavy cream and then the maple syrup is going to be added later. And so here we go. I also probably want to get a little bit of xanthan gum in here. Oh yeah. How's it smell? It's like maple syrup and nutmeg. Cool. <laughs> I'm just going to get a little bit of xanthan gum in there. It should really help the consistency. And then that is going to be like... Ready to be spun? Yeah, I think then we're going to be pretty ready. Cool. This is half, like this is uh, five, ten minutes out from being ready for the chunks. Look at my creation, it's all burnt. I wonder if it's still good, I'm gonna try one. Mm. I tried the most burnt one I could find, but it's still good. It's coming out. Oh, sorry, here it is, yeah. That looks good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it actually doesn't taste very much like French toast. Oh really? What does it taste like? It's a bummer. Um, I don't know, nutmeg. It tastes kind of like maple syrup. Yes. <laughs> Um, let's see, uh, this is all clean, and then uh, we actually made some raspberry. This is actually gonna be, let's see, look at all the sieves. Oh. This is gonna melt the ice cream around it. That's uh -oh. gonna be an issue. Oh, do you want to give it, a, put it back in the freezer for a few minutes? In all honesty, I kind of want to scoop this without it and like put this in it afterwards. Sure, let's do it. Yeah, my friend PA told me to make this one. So I thought she told me I had to say that on camera. Oh, nice. Huge shout out to Den Den Asiana Cafe for giving us Tupperware that lasts a lifetime. <laughs> Den Den. Thank you, Den Den. <laughs> so this is, if this just looks like plain ice cream, that's what it is. It's uh, it's just a normal ice cream base. Uh, that's uh, We're just gonna do cookies and cream with it. You know, no vanilla required, right? Like, Woo! Cookies and cream! <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't strain it? That's fine. I don't think you need to strain it. Cool. So yeah, for this one, it's pretty easy. We're just gonna let this thing spin, and then when we finish it, we're just gonna have to, I guess, crumble up some Oreos. Yeah. So Aaron, are you a uh, big chunk Oreo guy or a little chunk? You like a fine grain? Yeah, fine. we can do that. Yeah, we'll crush them. Fine. All right. All right, dog. It's time. the torch. You know, just crush those up as much as you want. That was a great. That was a great sign, dude. Just pound it. Yeah, dude. Ah, Tell us I'm a yeah. Oreos. <laughs> 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 don't don't see the That's good. Cool. Attack right. up. No! It hits itself and it's confusion! Any crushers? Voila! Very nice, 10 out of 10. Oh. What's up? So this is the cookies and cream ice cream. It's all done. It looks like, you know, cream ice cream. But uh, Aaron here, my assistant, is gonna help me some scooping. So the way you mix an ice cream, Aaron, is we're just gonna scoop scooping. and drop. And then you're gonna wanna sprinkle some of the, you're gonna take that out and sprinkle some of those bad boys on top. It's like how we layer it in. So yeah, just get them all in there. Like, as, as many Oreos as you put in is how Oreo-y it's gonna oh. be, right? And then I'll scoop some more on top. Yes, yeah. sir. And then the cycle Rizzo continues. That looks good, guys, honestly. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, it's neutral ice cream. <laughs> it's, it, but it's, it is like, you know, like milk and Oreos. It's a classic combination. It's a classic. It's a okay, so it's currently three in the morning. Uh, it's it is not. Don't lie to your viewers. <laughs> what is part of the narrative? It's not. I'm sorry, it's five in the morning. So what I'm going to do now is get the measuring cup because we're going to do the last ice cream of the day. Why? 
Why? Why? Alright, ready? Oh, yeah. Why? Ready. Well, when I'm ready, yeah. Just... Why? <laughs> okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. Alright, so, get really, really nice and low so the ice cream maker feels like safe, but uh, the map will safe. Okay. And then we're gonna try and get this on. There we go. Okay, ready? Uh huh. One. Oh. Oh. And last time, it was really hard to get to the strainer, so I'm gonna let this go for a lot longer in the hope it will become more liquid, less bread. <laughs> I'm making ice cream. I think that's good. Not bad. I feel like it's not, I don't think the flavor is as strong as with the banana bread, but. I think that's okay. So we're just gonna do that process again, and then we're just gonna be ready to blend this or to uh, to make this ice cream. So let's yeah. go. Let's go. Slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> it's definitely straining better than the banana oh, bread. Totally, it's like way better. Wow, we're making progress. We're making progress. Dude, progress. Any <laughs> progress in chat? So there's still some liquid in here, and I want to get it out. So I'm gonna try something dumb. Is that cool? Go for it. So I'm gonna like this is all. Take the bomb. Yeah, it's like. Pretty, pretty glorpy. Glorpus. I have a crazy idea. Uh oh. Do you want to hear it? I do want to hear it. Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm, I'm never not sure if you're ready. I'm so. I don't care if I'm ready. I want to hear it. All right. See this? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what it looks like? Pancake. Dough. We could recast it. I think that's an awful idea. <laughs> we could recast it. I think it. that's- it looks gross, dude. It looks like, um, sea scum. Alright, after a long day, we're ready for the sixth ice cream. This is kind of a monumental undertaking, to be honest. Yeah! This bowl is so large. Large bowl. So small. No, dude, we did it. We did it. And our hearts are so full of ice cream Our hearts love. are so full of ice cream and love. Okay. It's 11.30. This is the actual time. Crunch, crunch. And we are ready. Uh, yeah, we've run out of Tupperware. Gone. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So this is from my adventure making kale chips one time, but I saved the container because I'm eco-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, that kale container does not want to stay open, yeah, I don't tell you. Yeah, it's the spirit of the kale. It says, don't put ice cream in me, Aaron. I'm a vegetable. Yeah, eat it, vegetables. Eat it, vegetables. It's ice cream time. This is coffee cake consistency. Yeah. Looks yeah. good, dude. Looks really good. Yeah. I'm gonna hold this open for you. Seems to be a. That's my hand. So kind. We've been on our feet all day. Yeah. Scooping. Yeah, it's hard work making hard ice cream. Hard day scoop. Hard day scoop. <laughs> okay, what, what are we gonna name our ice cream shop, dude? Hard day scoop. Hard day scoop. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> yeah, baby kale, eat it. Eat the ice cream. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna like pour all of this in. Go for it. Send it. <laughs> it's such a noise. Yeah, it's just like frozen chunks of frozen candy. chunks of coffee cake. Nice, getting in there. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, it's late. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude, that looks that nice. looks, that like, looks like a coffee cake ice cream. Look at that. Look at the chunks. Yeah. Nice job, gang. We're done. Six ice creams. Six hours. Six. More than six hours. So I think we should rate them out of ten. Oh, out of ten. <laughs> okay. Out of, out of, out of five. Yeah. So this is uh, this is the Oreo cookie. You can get get up, get up nice and close if you don't mind. Oh. Like no, like stand up and get like. Right oh my camera. god. I, I, I show you. show. Not you got, like people are like they're just gonna see us eating out of bowls. So you gotta show them what it looks like. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. All right. Floral so, notes. Floral notes. Fauna <laughs> notes. I got Wait, did you say faunal notes? <laughs> yeah, flora and fauna. He's <laughs> such a good <laughs> That's really good. The, the Oreos, like, first of all, excellent crushed, I must yeah, say. Yeah, that was, that was some good crushed. Thank you, thank you. They got kind of like chewy in the actual ice cream, you know? Yeah, it's really nice. I really like that. Okay. Out of 10? Nine. Nine. I want to give it a 10, you know, it's just 10 is yeah, such a... Yeah. But I feel like I'll probably give everything a 10. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's good advertising for our ice cream shop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. I'll go with 7 or 8. Oh. <laughs> it's got high standards. Well, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking, like, 
It was, it was good. <laughs> it just didn't, like, I don't know. It just wasn't great. <laughs> yeah. I Sometimes was, you yeah. have an ice cream that changes your perspective on the world, okay? <laughs> I think, I, I was writing this against what is the platonic ideal of cookies and cream ice cream. Oh. And I think this gets really close. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a great cookies and cream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maintain my rating, though, because I love big chunks. And this is a small chunk of ice cream. Small chunks. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's I can't see the No, no, no. Hey, you made what you wanted to make, right? Like, that was the point of this ice cream. Okay. Boom. Okay. I don't know. They... No, closer. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so this is a uh... chocolate sea salt. Uh... And chocolate shortbread cookies. Yeah. Ice cream with dark, yeah, dark chocolate coated shortbread cookies. I don't know if I actually gave you any cookies there, Wolf. Sorry. Mom! All right, let's try it. Oh. Oh, my mouth. Bon appetit. <laughs> Pretty natural progression, I'd say. Sorry, mm. that's really good. Okay, so the base has this really nice, like the salt actually adds a lot here. It's really salty, but in a good way. But the shortbread cookies are such an interesting texture and consistency. They like feel like the kind of thing that you would chew on in a shatter, but then it like it actually is like kind of like smooth, like the progression. Yeah. I don't know. I think it, I think it's been, like the texture is kind of interesting because like they are solid, but like the inside of the shortbread cookie is so like. Like it, it, yeah, yeah, it's uh, easy to bite through, but there is some give to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I give it an eight, eight this, or nine. I, I, give, I give this one a ten. Wow! If they had this, they had this at, at restaurants, mm -hmm. or they had this at an ice cream store, this would be a this would be a really good go to for me. This I would, is a really good one. Yeah, if they had this on a menu at some ice cream place, I would be like, that's fine. I would just ignore the rest of the menu. So yeah, I, I give it a nine. I think um, docking one point uh -huh. because I think if I ate too much of this. Yeah. Like it's it's something I very much appreciate in a small taste. Mm, yeah, that's true. That's true. I feel like that that cookies and cream like I could have just been like bam bam. It's you know, right. like, it's it's a little bit lighter, but this, <laughs> but yeah. the, like for the portion we had, like that would be a ten. Right. But I'm thinking about it. You know, if I were to go to a store or a restaurant, like, right? If you had to be eat like a, a big like a cone of this. Yeah. Actually, a restaurant, I guess they'd probably give you a smaller portion. Right? Yeah. Like, one scoop, that'd yeah. be good. But if yeah. you were like you know a hot dog or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, so look like, at that. Is this? That's perfect. Get a little closer. Oh, we lost some. Look at that. That actually looks incredible. Yeah. So this is our banana bread Nutella. Um, so I think what's most interesting about this, uh, Aaron. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you're doing it? Oh. You're so strong. Honestly. That's why I got the strongest so strong. hand in the world. Yeah, so this, is, this is a uh, this is points off in my book, but. Oh. Sorry. We lost some points. This is my. So uh, we didn't actually like follow a recipe for this one. We kind of just like it came from the heart, but I wonder why it's so rock solid, tough to chew. Mm. I want like like. <laughs> um, Sometimes ice cream just needs you know, a little hard on the outside. You have to put in the work to get to the nice cold exterior. Well, okay, uh, interior. Y you give it a try. Something. This probably gonna taste pretty good though. I hope so. All right, gang, ready? Cheers. Mm. 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 I just want to say the spirit is there. Like the banana bread is there. It tastes really banana y. And I think that's hard for ice cream. It is. It is hard for ice cream. I, I like this one a lot. This is what I was looking for. If the texture were great, I would give this a 10. I think that the chunks have like a nice textural contrast. Mm -hmm. Tastes exactly what banana and Nutella taste like in an ice cream. Now that's the best way to describe it. What did you give it? My first bite was a little overwhelming with banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of banana. There was a lot of banana. There's a lot of banana flavor in there. Um, which isn't necessarily bad. I like bananas, but yeah, it's like it like a seven, mainly because uh, the banana was very overwhelming, and I, I generally only like banana in banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, in the very the fair. I'm at, yeah. And that being said, sense. it's still great. The Nutella was a very nice addition. Thank you. I think that was. I think the Nutella was really nice. Okay. Actually, oh. like we so far we got like this chocolate string, you know. Yeah. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna go with also a seven, like without the like scooping this problem, I'd probably give it an eight, just cause it's really exciting to like have gone from like conception to like, oh my God, that does taste yeah. like it. I mean, I'm also not like a banana guy. It's just like, I think that it was a lot of fun to pick up. Yeah, I'm giving it an eight. Um, I liked it a lot. The consistency is definitely an issue. Um, <laughs> I think notes for next time, I'll use a little bit less banana bread. I think it will help with both the consistency and the flavor. I do, yeah. I, I love banana and this was, a, it was a lot of banana. Uh, when I got a bite with more Nutella in it, it was definitely like a nicer pairing. But I think something with the recipe needs to change because like the ratio of like, like there just needs to be more liquid. Yeah. Like, there needs to be more milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to experiment with this one. But yeah. as as a proof of concept, I feel very it worth it. Yeah, I think, I think absolutely. I yeah, think it's yes. a step in the right direction. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So this will be we will be returning to this one in the future. Yeah. So this is in the baby cow box. Let me see it here. This is what it looks like. 
Nice shot of that. Those chunks are actually coffee chunks that Aaron's graciously created for him. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we get any more. Let's see what the scoopers. consistency is like. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we didn't cheat on this one because I left it out for a few That's minutes. fine, that's fine. Listen, I mean, if the consistency takes a little bit. Well, I'm just saying it's not fair comparison to the banana. You know, yeah, the banana yeah. worked very hard as well. Sure. See, it's still like the scoop is still like pretty solid yeah it's i mean it's not like when you scoop ice cream right like uh, this isn't an ice cream scoop but you imagine like that big you know yeah thing yeah, yeah that that ready ready all right emotionally yeah let's do it <laughs> oh. oh wow mm. guys that's a hit so in the banana bread ice cream because we lit most of the banana bread chunks on fire we actually had very few in there, so a lot of the banana bread taste was coming from the batch. Right. But in this one, we actually didn't steep the cup. We, we like did the same thing with like coffee cake. We, we blended it into the base, but we didn't steep it for very long. And I think that I can sort of tell that by like eating the base of the ice cream because a lot of the flavor of the coffee cake is coming from the chunks. Mm -hmm. I would probably give this. Hey. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was expecting higher based off how you were going with He's that. giving low scores. No, I, no I'm, I don't know. He's giving low scores, I mistrust. Um, this is this is a 9 or a 10 for me. I really like this. I love, it tastes exactly like the coffee cake, and I feel like the bready elements come through as well. Like, this doesn't just, just taste like cinnamon or, or like whatever. It tastes like the coffee cake itself, and I think that's really exciting because, like, I think if you serve this to somebody, they would be like, they wouldn't say, oh, this is a cinnamon ice cream, right? Yeah. Or like a Oscar. cinnamon sugar or anything. It'd be yeah. like, this is something very distinct. And I think the chunks really add a lot to the breadiness of the ice cream. I, I really like this one. I would make this one again for sure. Yeah, it was, it was great. I might give it a 10. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I, 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 the day. I, I really <laughs> like the, the boots in it. Like, yeah. Uh, like I, you did a great job with the chunks. I, I generally, it can be tough in ice cream, right? Sometimes, like, you know, when you have ice cream, you have those, like, really hard, like, chocolate chip chunks, and they're, like, yeah. they interrupt you. Yeah. yeah. This one compliments it. Yeah, it's a continuation yes, of the yes, ice cream. Yes. <laughs> also, the flavor's just nice. Like, it's sweet, but not, like, overbearing. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Again, I could see myself sitting in front of the TV just like pounding. Yeah, 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 exactly. Nonstop. Yeah, totally. Nonstop. So this is the raspberry. We wanted to swirl this through, but we kind of got distracted by board game. Oh, um, nice. So this is French toast ice cream. This is the one I think that we're most concerned about going in, but I think it will still be delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So unlike the banana bread and the coffee cake, this one is different because we didn't actually make French toast. We simply tried to approximate the flavors by putting flavor to do with that. Now that's a scoop. Look at that. that scoop. Is, You're not in frame. You're not in frame. Oh, You're not in frame. Oh, oh. Um, thank you. Yeah. You I'm gonna try some without. All right, it's melting. Let's do it. All right. Mm. Okay. What is the first thing that you taste? Not Meg. Really? It's infinite nutmeg. You guys don't taste the nutmeg? I just need to know what nutmeg tastes I was gonna, like. So. I was gonna say root beer. I was gonna say this. Oh, like root beer. I see it. I see it. It does taste like. It reminds me of a root beer float. Yeah. Let's try some of the raspberry. In all honesty, if you told me that this was root beer ice cream, I'd be like, all right. <laughs> or maybe I've just never tasted nutmeg before. I don't know. My but answer is gonna be like a flower. With oh, the dang. raspberry, the raspberry changes the flavor a lot. Like oh, that's okay. Because I mixed all of it. I think a lot of these flavors are kind of muted. The raspberry is very like bright and forward. Mm -hmm. The base, it's a little, it's very sweet. It's very, very sweet. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I coming into this already don't really love raspberry, mm -hmm. so it's already gonna be you know tough tough competition. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really change my opinion. It wasn't enough to make me say I love raspberry. Yeah. It wasn't bad, mm. but generally I think there's, there's there's a lot going on here. Yeah. The flavors. A little overwhelming. I think we spent the least time on this, like conceptually, just because like we had we so many do, things yeah. going on. Like I think if we were to make one ice cream and not six ice creams, and that one ice cream is gonna be this one, we could pay this one a little more attention. If anything, it's been so impressive that the first four have been like amazing. Yeah, like yeah. those are all four where I could go to an ice cream store, buy, and eat ha very happily. Mm -hmm. This too. This one is just a little bit like it doesn't feel like it's complete. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's bad, right? Yeah. Right. But, but I would I would give it a six. Okay. I, I would also give it a six. This is one where if I ate it at a fresh, if I went to an ice cream store and I ordered this, I wouldn't be upset, but I wouldn't order it again, you know? Yeah. I wouldn't be like super excited. I would be like, that was nice. That was kind of a novelty. It was a little interesting. And then I would watch her, I would order it uh, a second time. So I would agree. I would love to develop this one more because I love the concept of French toast ice cream. Yeah, that's um, a good idea. Yeah. And I think, I think honestly, it might have just been a balance of like the things we put in, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I think this is, this one is a good starting point. Yeah, I'd yeah, give right. it somewhere between a five and a six. 
Uh, I will say though, actually, I took one final bite and got a nice like bit of raspberry. That actually, yeah, raspberry. That, good. that actually enhanced it a lot. Yeah. So part of it was I mixed it all together at first. I mm -hmm. put the raspberry on and just stirred it, whereas right. they yeah. kind of they made it differently, and so that I think changes how right. the taste profile. It's like pockets well. of raspberry yeah. rather than like a constant throughout. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, the camera will reveal all, I guess. Uh, these are not rinsed. Here's the burnt toast. Oh, guys. This one more than the other smells. Like this thing, you can smell from far away even. So it's a, uh, it's a custard. Um, so that is, I mean, it's gonna have like an eggy taste. Um, eggy, eggy, eggy. He, he passed, oh, okay. again, nice a, scoop. A nice scoop, nice but scoop. I, I think it's important to note that both of the, uh, both of the custards have a nice scoop, and it's not to say that the other base, like, is a bad scoop, I think. Um, but, uh, these scoops. It's interesting to think about, sort of like, yeah, how the different bases like create different textures. It could just be like the freezing point is different, right? Like, so the yeah. eggs, so the eggs. All right. Mmm. Okay. I like a lot. It tastes, it tastes like I don't know how to describe it except it tastes exactly like burnt toast. Even like it doesn't just taste like toast. It tastes like burnt toast. But it's like, in a good way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like sweet burnt toast. Yeah. The flavors are so like I don't know rich. Yeah. Like, it's really distinct. A lot of people don't like burnt toast. Like, I don't know, like, if you were to make a toast, like, I would burn mine mm -hmm. on purpose. I not not all the way, not charcoal, but like a nice shade of brown. Like, okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, I think it, like, it's just like a caramel with like toasty notes, I think, at the end of the day. We didn't have to like caramel swirl or anything. So I think it's actually really, I'm gonna be the first to say it, I think this is a nine concept, execution, this is one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah this is awesome. because I also think it's just unique. Like a lot of the others are things that I feel like I've tasted yeah. in derivatives of before. But this, yeah. like, yeah, I just I've never seen a burnt toast ice cream before. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And it's like all the good. It's like you have the burnt toast taste, but then the sweetness just, you know. Yeah. This is a nine for me. Nine. I really like yeah. this. Nine yeah. for now, now, maybe even 10 for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I was sort of thinking, like, what would this have to be for me to like? Yeah, you know, like, honestly. 10? You know, if I had the toast crumbs on top, maybe. I'd yeah, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cool, and that's it. So, okay, the last question I have for you guys is, did you have a favorite? Coffee cake is my favorite. I'll it's between this and the coffee cake. Yeah, I, I think it's between this and the chocolate. Um, that one was also chocolate really good, yeah. for me. Yeah. Just because I only really ever eat like this much ice cream at a time. Yeah. So like I, I think it would be hard. Like this one would be hard to like just sit down and like eat a whole tub of it. Right. Like, this is like this is a dining experience. Right. Um, I like this one a lot for the novelty of the flavor. Like yeah, yeah. I mean, a couple bites, you're like that's burnt toast, but like. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I totally see that. I think this one would be a one that would be hard to get a scoop of, just because like it would be a lot of burnt toast, and I love yeah. the idea of incorporating the PB and J you, yeah. into it to get more like exciting flavors. Totally, yeah. I feel like this one, the French toast, and the coffee cake and the banana, like there is like some real like growth, like for they, sure. like they can all be developed and improved on. It. I think yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, like, this is definitely different than my normal content than any of our normal content. Uh, but it was yeah. a lot of fun to make, and I'm, I'm really happy that we did it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, thank you for watching the video. And yeah, let us know uh, which one was your favorite in the comments <laughs> down below. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so mean. <laughs> they have to come to our store. Um, it's me. <laughs> World Chip difference, baby. <laughs>